Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to the second mega gadget collection of 2015. I've got a whole range of gadgets and technology to share with you today, so let's take a closer look. So I wanted to give you a quick view of all of the products that are going to be featured in this mega gadget collection. Which one shall we start with first? Let's start with this product from Impact. So Impact make a range of accessories for smartphones and what they've sent me is their extreme glass protection for the iPhone 6 which I've got here and also their Impact glass for the iPad Air or iPad Air 2. Now it's really nicely presented, I just want to show you how they present their products. This is the iPhone 6 version. Now I haven't installed this on my iPhone 6 yet, I'm going to do that in uh, the future and I'll let you know how I get on with it but inside this pack we've got the glass screen protector itself really very very nice the only disappointment I can see here is it's not a hole it's a, a sort of a u-shaped hole for the home button and then we've got a variety of cleaning pads applicator uh, tools and some instructions so that's what we get inside the pack for the iPhone 6 now with the iPad Air version, I've already installed it, I'll show you it in place in a short while, but very similarly presented, uh, a nice sort of strong cardboard holder for the screen protector, and inside we had a bag which contained the screen protector itself, and then again a polishing cloth, some applicator tools, and also a wipe to clean the screen of your iPad as well. So that's all the packaging for the iPad Air version, and I've already installed it. Now the iPad Air version is very, very good indeed. Let me just wake my iPad Air up. And the reason I really like this particular version is I mentioned about the U-shape hole on the iPhone 6 version. This is actually a proper hole, so there is glass underneath, and of course on the sides and top of the home button. It makes it quite recessed. They do include some stickers inside, so you can stick something on top to raise the home button back up. But I didn't want to do that. I wanted to keep the fingerprint sensor or the touch ID. And it just is a really very, very nice screen protector. Superbly made and very, very nice fitting as well. Very, very precise on how it meets the edges. Sometimes you get these screen protectors and they don't fit perfectly. Well, with the impact glass protector, it fits very well indeed. Doesn't decrease sensitivity at all. Nice smooth edges as well, no sharpness or anything. And the glass screen protectors are dearer than those thin plastic films, but they do give you so much more protection. This is the impact glass screen protector for the iPad Air and the iPad Air 2. Moving on, we have got the Devoom Voom Box. This is a Bluetooth portable rechargeable speaker with a 15 watt output. It's weather resistant, Bluetooth technology in here, also NFC pairing, 12 hours of playback time on your music. And this is a rugged little speaker, very, very well made. You can see it here in a black sort of gray and green combination. This front panel, the uh, mesh is metal. And then this top section here is like a rubberized material which is very, very rugged. We've also got a connection here where we can connect some sort of wrist strap. Round on the bottom, the rubber continues, and again on the back, the same grill sort of setup. On the side here, we have got a little flap we can open which has got an auxiliary input, so if you didn't want to connect via Bluetooth, you can hardwire something in. We've also got a micro USB connector for recharging the speaker. All of the cables are supplied in the box. Nicely presented box as well. If you want to know that, this is what you're looking out for at retail level. Now, moving back to the speaker, the controls across the top, we've got power on off, we've got playback controls, and we've also got volume up and down. A really lovely speaker, very, very rugged, very solid feeling. A little bit hefty, if you are going to carry this around, there's a bit of weight to it, but a good amount of playback on this as well. And the audio quality, superb, really loud, nice amount of bass, nice amount of detail, and I don't think you'll be disappointed. This is the Devoom Voom Box. Now, if you're anything like me and you like automating your home, things like controlling your lights with an app or controlling your curtains or your door locks or indeed your home central heating system, this could well be the product for you. Now, I personally use the Nest Learning Thermostat, but over the last couple of weeks, I had the opportunity to test the to-do. 
Awesome branding, by the way. Love the company name. Now onto the products. This is a combination of two different products. You need both to get this system to work. Now on the left here, we've got the extension kit. This actually attaches to your combination boiler. You will most likely need a professional installer to install this. You could try and tackle it yourself, but it's very easy to do for any qualified plumber. And once this is in place, it actually communicates with the smart thermostat. And you can locate this in another location in your house. And it's got a sort of touch sensitive control on the front, which actually displays the current temperature and also allows you to adjust things and it also communicates with an app. So you can actually control the central heating system in your house via an app. How cool is that? This is a very slim line unit. Again, very, very easy to install. Now, during my testing period, it worked very well. And I was really impressed with the user interface on the app as well. So if you're looking for something to automate your central heating system, this is well worth checking out. This is the to-do smart thermostat. Now what we've got here is the Stand Easy. This is a very, very simple phone stand. And the idea behind this is it actually comes flat packed. So like flat pack furniture, you can get different versions. You can get different colored plastic versions or indeed you can get the ultra version, which is made out of metal. Now in its flat form, it is very, very thin indeed. When you take it out of the pack, super easy. You just push this front portion up here lift this middle portion up, lift the back portion up, select the right sort of hole for the angle of your smartphone, and then you can grab your favorite smartphone, be it in a case or not, and then you just simply pop it onto the stand and the job is done. Now you can see it's not very stable, so I'm not entirely impressed with this product. If we pop it up to a more upright position, perhaps something like that, and pop the phone in again, it does a little bit better job, but it is quite sort of top heavy with larger phones. You can see it sort of already angling back off the desk. So not ideal for all phones, probably smaller phones than my iPhone 6. In landscape orientation, it's absolutely fine. And the metal one works a little bit better than the plastic one because it's a tiny bit heavier. This is the Stand Easy. Well worth checking out if you're looking for a very portable yet very lightweight smartphone desk holder. So now we've got another smartphone stand, but not a desk stand this time. And first of all, I wanna show you the packaging. This is the Glyph, and the packaging is awesome. It's a little sort of cardboard tube, but when you open it like so, it shows you the actual action of the product because this is an extendable arm inside the Glyph. Very, very cool packaging, really well thought out. Inside that little tube, you get an Allen key for adjusting the size of your glyph, and also a little screw mount here, which allows you to actually put this into the threaded mount on the glyph and then attach it to a keychain. So you've got your glyph with you wherever you go. Now this is a very, very simple product. On either end, we have got a threaded mount on this end, and of course on this end and you put the Allen key inside here to adjust either the distance between the two large areas or indeed the distance here, and you adjust this for your smartphone. Now, I've already pre-adjusted this for my iPhone 6, which is inside a case. Now, you can slide your phone in like so, and once this is in place, you can then obviously mount using either this threaded mount or this threaded mount onto a tripod, and then you can very easily take steady video or steady photos. Very, very cool indeed. And then if we take this out, then the second function, you can pop it into this end here, so this smaller end, like so, and then you can use this to stand your smartphone up at a nice viewing angle for viewing back videos. Very, very cool indeed. This is an awesome product, very compact, very well engineered, and just got so many uses. And it really is a great little tool to take with you if you take a lot of photos or videos with your smartphone. Now, if you're into your music and listening to audio, you'll be very interested in these. These are the Brainwaves M1 in-ear earphones. They are actually really well presented inside the packaging, but I will just say to the company, they were very difficult to remove. I was frightened that I was gonna break the very thin cables. But anyway, that said, nicely presented. We get a little carry pouch 
with some uh, mesh pockets here for keeping the accessories. We also get a little pack with some extra different size silicon ear tips and also a little clip as well. And then we get the earphones themselves. And these are very, very nice. They've got 1.3 meter cord, 10.7 millimeter drivers, and they produce a really nice sound. Very, very nice indeed. I'll come back to the audio quality in a short while. We've got a almost right angled three and a half millimeter audio connector on the M1s. Uh, a nice quality cable, albeit very thin, very, very delicate feeling. Moving back to the comfort factor, the different size silicon ear tips ensure you get a really comfortable fit. The actual drivers inside these produce a nice balanced sound, a nice amount of bass, not bass heavy, but a decent and convincing amount of bass, and mid-range and trebles are perfectly acceptable. Nice amount of detail provided by these earphones. If you're looking for something that fits within your budget, that looks nice, nice and discreet, and certainly delivers on the audio front, the Brainwaves M1 are well worth checking out. So now I wanna show you the Macaulay Tank. This is a protective case for the iPhone 6, and it's a really nice proposition because it offers up a two-tone and two-layer protection. Let's give you a little guide around the case. So we've got this raised edge profile button for the power on off, nice large cutout for the camera flash and microphone. On this side, we've got a cutout for the silencer switch and also raised buttons for the volume up and down. Now these integrated buttons are perfect, perfectly placed, perfectly balanced, no issue at all using the buttons. And then we've got a raised edge profile across the top. This means if you place your device face down on a surface, the actual screen isn't gonna to touch. Across the bottom, we've got full access to all of the ports and the speaker and microphone. And then this two layer protection, the inside portion, the lighter gray color, actually removes from the case. And this is a slightly softer material. And then we've got the harder black plastic, but both of them are finished in this sort of uh, soft touch finish. And it gives this really nice design, very, very grippy. So this is the first sort of feature really, is it's gonna add on grip to your slippery iPhone 6. But in addition to that, because there's two layers of protection, it's got a nice amount of shock uh, sort of protection. If you were to drop this on a corner, it's gonna definitely give some protection to your phone. I think it's really nice. I think it looks very, very stylish on your phone. This is the Macaulay Tank. Now, last but not least in this mega gadget collection is a product from a company called Blue Lounge. It is their Soba, and this is gonna allow you to manage your cables with ease. You get a nice instruction sheet inside the box, and then we get a selection of accessories and this mesh type material. It's like a, a mesh cloth that you can thread your cables into, and you can use the various accessories supplied to create a really neat solution for cable management. Now, you get a whole selection of different bits inside here, and I wanna show you a few of them. This one here is to actually allow you to thread your cables into the mesh tube very, very easily, and you simply sort of slot it onto the mesh put your cables in, pull it through, and it feeds everything through the cable management system. And then we've got some other accessories here. We've got things like this. This is like a, a Y type connector. So you can actually cut the mesh and have it going in here and then exiting out here to give you a really neat solution to your wires because maybe you've got different destinations for different connectors. It's also got an adhesive pad on the back so you can actually attach this to a wall or a desk. And then we've got two different bits here. We've got this one, which is also an attachment system. If you've got a long run of cables and you wanna attach it to an underside of a desk or a wall, for example, you put this midway up the cloth mesh and again, adhesive pad on the back to actually attach it to your wall. And then we've got these really neat end caps. You can see one of these actually pictured just here. And this goes on the end of one of your cable runs and it gives you two exits for different connectors. It allows you to separate those connectors out very, very easily indeed. This is a great cable management solution and well worth checking out. I use a lot of Blue Lounge products. In fact, the desk that I'm filming this on is a Blue Lounge studio desk, which has got storage capacity underneath the surface that I'm recording on, which is great for cable management as well. But if you combine that, with something like the Blue Lounge Soba, you've got the ultimate cable management solution. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this mega gadget collection. If you did, please do drop me a comment. Please do subscribe to the channel. 
and I will see you all in the next one.